some of these names are just so boring, you know? I feel like we need to we need to navigate back to our suggested names and, and, and just rename a couple of these. Let's let's dive in. Sancti Spiritu. Oh, I like that name. What does that mean? That means something, doesn't it? I, I just don't know off the top of my head, actually. Great city of don't worry over here. We're just explorers. <laughs> We're not. We're absolutely taking over America. <laughs> Salamanca, I'm just literally going to change to Salamander because that, that makes me laugh. And we're just going to put face here because, again, that's that's all I got. I mean, honestly, my, my level of jokes are, are just terrible, like really, really terrible. That, is that a British thing? Are those? I think those are international banks, right? You should, you should get that. You know what? It wasn't Madrid, but I did like that pun. My dread. <laughs> My dread. <laughs> it's quite good. I like that. Original. I'm going to go to Barbersville. I know it's not the old world. I'm very sorry it's Brazil, but I'm sort of running out of uh, space in the old world, unfortunately. It kind of sounds like Babylon, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe. That's not even how you spell Babylon. Oh dear. I could get Ibiza as well. Again, not even how you spell it. I can't spell Spanish cities. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm useless. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, sirs. What I do need to do, however, is really start to sort of just push my influence onto this uh, this new continent. And, and we've now got the ability to purchase in troops with faith, which is a really, really handy thing. So for instance, like these conquistadors, 250 production, just the use of some nitre to get those going. Like, definitely. Replaceable parts? How come that got boosted? What did I do? What did I do on that one? What? Oh man, I've got to, have, got to actually see what that was. What was it? Replaceable parts. Oh, it doesn't tell me what it was. Well, that's really annoying. Oh well, well we, we boosted that apparently. Um, yay! Build an art museum. Well, I can quickly boost that one by just buying an art museum in my capital because my capital's worth it. There we go, opera and ballet. Boosted. Actually, both of these things now want me to build urbanization things. Declare war using Corsus Pella. Now, I'm not going to end up doing that, am I? Right, well, we'll have to go to urbanization and, and sort of throw this in. Where's my shift button? There's the shift button. Okay, what are we going to do? <sighs> yeah, loads of neighborhood districts. The sanitation build two neighborhoods as well. I need to give myself a little bit of time to do that. I'm not going to build any bombards because it's just too late in the game. I'm not going to kill a unit the night, so let's just jump on those techs while we can. But yeah, we need to get some neighborhoods in. Go on, get in. Get this sit these religions in. This is really, really good. Oh, you know what? I could actually get Norway city in, in a little bit, but we'll, we'll leave it alone for now, just in case they've got a religion of their own. Ah, uh, it's actually just trying to make sure that these missionaries don't die is trickier than you might think. Japan, I think. That's got to be the last of everybody, actually. Let's just double check. Have we got anyone else? No. No, we don't. So actually, look, the Asian cities have uh, done very, very well. Japan is doing amazingly. 34 tax, although yeah, you see like, I'm starting to catch up with Korea now, now that I'm sort of not beelining quite as much, but we've got to be careful that these guys don't run away from us too much. Some good deals with France now. We're just going around ally to ally, just people that aren't going to hopefully backstab us. And we're just being like, what do you want for all this? Oh yeah, look at this, all this gold, all this gold coming in. Nom 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 nom. Major Flood, I just fixed that. Oh my god, this this city is just an absolute pain in the ass. Just everyone keeps dying. Ugh. Anyway, settlers, builders, colonial taxes, scripture, simultaneum. This is all good. I'm just sort of, yeah, focusing on gold and faith. The two things are going to do really good. Oh my god, it actually just washed it all away. Good god. It's appalling. Four envoys? What? That's amazing. Ah oh, ha 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 ha. Well, there we go. So, we've got... Actually, no, there's loads of envoys that are going to be hitting soon. Why Why did I just get four? I don't even know why I just got four, but that's fine. Okay, cool. Palanqui. City growth rate is 15% higher in cities with a campus. That's good. That's another uh, conquest for me. Rapanui. Let's stick this one. Actually, that'll give me loads of the map, hopefully. Where's this one? Oh, literally just explored C for me. Never mind. Um, and then Mexico. Is that the next decent one? Or Auckland? Oh no. No, here we go. Let's put in loads into Auckland. Lovely. Now this means... Where's Auckland gone? I think... Have I got to get a certain tech? Shallow to uh, water provides plus one production. Plus one when you reach the industrial era. And I am in the industrial era. So now my cities... Oh, look at that. Yes. 
Oh, all of these tiles are so good. Okay, harbour districts are going to be pushed in because, oh my goodness, the production in all of these like naval cities is now just so good. We've got to keep hold of that one. You can see, look, plus three from other bonuses, extra food, extra like production. All of this stuff is coming from like sending it across uh, routes, but we're going to be jumping onto gold routes now. Um, and I just want to keep an eye on this government thing because diplomatic league is really good but i'm gonna just take that off now because we don't need it and i'm gonna put vissel on and we're gonna start sending some routes to allies now so we're looking for english routes because this has like 24 gold in a route that one that's delightful we're gonna get all of the gold per turn in new settler here probably the most pointless city in the world but that's okay we don't mind that in fact actually this fish with all that production from Auckland is really, really good. Mexico, Inquisition. Oh, look at that science boost. Yes, we're actually spreading my religion now across pretty much all of the new world. Yeah, there's only a couple of city states now in the middle of South America, but generally speaking, North America is pretty good. Oh, and actually, no, this city's not quite yet. Let's just convert this one over. Like so, siege tactics is now done. Goodness me, that is a huge science boost every time we do that. Okay, well that's good. That's good. We'll um we'll keep on doing that. England, please don't try and settle anywhere. It's not gonna work. I'm just gonna end up stealing your city. More missions. Oh yeah, look at all that faith pattern. It's glorious. And as I say, every new city I'm building, I'm just treating to that monument and the granary. And look at this. My culture pattern is mad. I mean, James Harry 49 culture per turn. The rest of it, 110 culture per turn, which is more than anyone else in the game, apart from Japan. It's just purely coming from monuments. It's mad. This is why, why Rome is so strong, by the way, just purely because of all the monuments it puts down. People think it's just a really rubbish, like, improvement. But my god, a three monument in every city. Oh, amazing. No, I'm not. I'm not doing this emergency. People need to just stop it with that Cardiff emergency. They're my allies. I don't want to fight them. Like, at what point do they think that I'm going to go, yay, let's just backstab my ally and, and, and do that? It just doesn't make any logical sense at all. Gah, honestly. To my own voice, this one keeps getting stolen from me. The full housing from water. That's actually very important for me, so stealing that back. Thank you very much. The Galapagos Islands. I don't know why I didn't find those before. Those clearly were, were just around the corner from where I were. Mad. When I remember, I am actually buying things like libraries. <laughs> And universities. I'm popping campuses up where I can. 171 science per term. That's not too bad. But we need to, as I say, like 230 now for the career. Those guys are they're doing well. Really, really, really well. It's a little concerning because I don't have the same level here. And I'm still at war with Sweden and I'm not actually sure why. Like what Ectable. Yeah, they'll do a pretty good deal actually for peace. You know what? That's fine. We'll get them back on side. I don't want to keep fighting them. It's just just annoying. See, I told you, right? Hull, not going to work. You're just putting it behind a load of my cities and I'm just going to end up taking it over. Like this one, for instance, this Norwegian city, that's just, it, it's, it's not going to last long. The new world is mine and it would pay you to remember that. Especially because I'm more interested right now in building railways because, of course, what am I going to do? This is is me after all. Big railway journey! Ah, Valletta. Join my religion, why don't you? <laughs> Begins to spread into South America now. The cities are really actually getting quite good. This, I mean, this one, for instance, is a good example of, of just like an actually decent city. It's just gonna produce some builders for me, get them to spread around a little bit whilst these ones try and like pick up the game a little bit, but yeah. God, this is this is delightful, absolutely delightful. Now, it's my campus. There's never any reefs when I need them, but we're going to build a campus or two as well. I just need to make sure my science is nice and high whilst I'm doing all these sort of things. There's a mission there, isn't there? No, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll improve the mission by, there we go, yes, by putting a campus next to it. That's delightful. Um, and I kind of needed you to get out of the way, settlers. Look, 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 why are all these ships here? There is no reason for all these ships to be outside Lisbon. Just please, stop it. Oh, what? Shift of Envoy, I'm no longer a suzerain of, of, of the letter. Oh my goodness, all of my cities are just being taken from me at the moment. It's awful. Doesn't matter though, because the railway is beginning. <laughs> here comes the railway. 
So Valletta will mean that I'm like, doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Valletta's now on my on my side again. I just had to spread the religion to it, but that's good. That means I've now got almost up to radio. I am catching up with Korea just because I'm really being good at the Eurekas and, and using my religion to, to do this. Um, I do want to now get to chemistry though. I mean, radio is a good one to do, but I oh, know that's because neighborhoods. I'm waiting for neighborhoods. Oh, but I'm ages away from neighborhoods because I need a 15 pop city and I've got my capital close, but it's not close enough because I've got no housing. You know what? I'm just gonna have to do it like this. Yeah, it's the only way. Mass media, mass media, sorry, is boosted. Radio is there. I've now got some missionaries that are just gonna go and have a little wander into Egypt's lands, which should be quite good. Because then I can start uh, converting Egypt cities and when I'm doing that, fingers crossed, I can start getting huge science boosts because of that. I'm just thinking of other people that I can convert and isn't a problem doing so. So Germany has a religion, Georgia, France, Russia, Arabia, and then Dido's religion is pretty much dead now anyway. So that's, um, that's good. Okay, so actually people like Rome I could convert and it really wouldn't be much of a problem. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Right, well, we might as well just start buying a couple of apostles then and seeing if we can get some good kills with them. Get the military academy in. I guess three euro points? Yeah, good for completing uh, the military encampment, which is good. You can see I'm still getting lovely, lovely large amounts of railways involved, which is quite tasty. I can put those on top of the settle things. That's good. So I'm now connecting up my settlers to the port so they can just rush out to sea quite nicely still friends with most people on the map which is pretty cool uh, what else is this city gonna do there's nothing, there's nothing really to do is there I guess I could build a canal well although apparently there's no places to put a canal why are you offering oh no there is there's two places huh hmm so I could put uh, I could put an industrial zone here that would be incredible but I'd have to get rid of all the food hmm yeah it's great I need to get research labs we got to catch up with Korea because they're now on 270. Again, they're not running away with it. 48 techs versus 45. So I have actually caught up because don't forget my my extra science I get from my religion, it, it, it is closing the gap. But I don't want to let them get too far ahead of me because, I mean, they will quickly go ahead of me if I'm not careful. Like this sort of missionary is quite useful. Just getting round, boost up now. Let's go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice boost. But unfortunately, that is all of the city-states on the new and old worlds. So that's kind of that done now. So yeah, as I say, I need to use my religion to to get at the, the, the actual players. Do it that way. Urbanization. That's a nice one. Oh, an Eiffel. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That means we can think about getting a wonder in. Or two or three or whatever. Hermitage. What does that one do? Artist points per turn. Meh. It's a sort of thing. Uh, plus 20% science of this city and awards two randomly chosen three technologies must be on a grassland or plains next to, uh, I mean, maybe I can do this. Oh yeah, Oxford University can be built on this city. You know what? Sod it. Let's actually go and do that. So we're going to use that to rush Oxford University. Yeah, that's actually a really good wonder for us to get. Really, really good. And these are just little tiny cities, but this is a good place to start. Because if I can get these Roman cities over, just a little science boost here and there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, almost. Almost. But this is how we get our religion going. Oh, now I'm no longer in charge of Buenos Aires. Goodness me. They're all being stole from me. Every single one. Just slowly but surely as people are discovering them. Ah, uh, sometimes if you if you if you are suzerain of every single city state abroad you can get away with it purely because nobody goes to war with you and nobody sees them but there's enough people exploring now to make this really annoying that's okay that's okay we can do it it's just we're gonna have to focus on getting when we're down there it's not ideology it gets gunplate diplomacy where is it cold war containment each envoy counts as two if there's a different government to me. So I might actually save up my envoys and see if I can get that one. Are you alright, Conquistador? I you're being absolutely attacked by five different things at once here. Oh dear. Right, I'm also not going to go anywhere near a golden age if I'm not 
careful. So we just need to be to pull you back and just be sensible. There's a lot of barbarians on North America. I just haven't quite been able to like get there. It's almost like the natives are fighting back. Look, right, England, I know you've got loads of troops, but you don't have to just sit in, in my land. What is your problem? Get lost. I don't want you here. Like, literally, you're just really annoying. I can't do anything with my units. Ugh. Oh, this is the one. Remove 75% of opposing religions from the land. So here we go. So, oh, I don't know why. Why did you jump onto the land there, you idiots? Ugh. I hate when, when units have got a huge swim speed, like a huge embark speed, and they decide instead to, like, jump in a boat. And you're sort of, or like, like get off the boat. And, and jump on the land and you're like why why did you do that it's really annoying okay my inquisitor should be able to just knock both Rome, Ostia and Bolognia just three of their religions so I can spread it so there should be a huge amount here to gain oh, and Oxford University two turns away that'll give me two three techs it's all coming together so just purchasing in things like shrines and temples because of course that gives me all the extra food really good combination when you set new cities up get that in that's now plus six food coming into this city so that's an amazing sort of combo and then here comes the trader as well that'll get pushed in uh we can now worry about getting just a campus up scorch death needs um field cannons so we'll just quickly upgrade to field cannons like so uh what's after chemistry realistically we kind of want to go to rocketry we can't actually boost that one refining's boosted rifling is boosted Build a, a coal mine and an ironclad. You know what? I could probably do that. I could probably get an ironclad in. Extract an artifact. I don't have one of the... I don't have a archaeological museum. I own three privateers. I haven't built a single one. Biplanes. I haven't built a single one. Okay. Well, there you go. I've only just built my first plus three campus. That's nuts. Anyway, right. Um, What have we just unlocked? What, what was that? Something just disappeared. Is that the Settlers one? I think it might be the Settlers one, isn't it? Which has just disappeared entirely. Okay, well, rationalism it is. Um, public works, scripture, simultaneum. You know what? I'm actually going to get rid of scripture and simultaneum now. It's it, They're good, don't get me wrong, but we're going to just you know, double up on this now. Let's uh, go for Raj, and I'm going to move to campus adjacency. Like so, that should boost my science to get to 230. And here we go. We've now got the opportunity to really, really, really push our science. Um, this apostle, you just need to get into the sea. Rome, you know, you know that I need you. You know that I need you on my side. Oh, you know what, actually, that's... Okay, that's two spreads on Rome. That should be enough. And then Bolognia... We'll get a couple of spreads and then the Apostle to come and finish them off. I kind of wanted to get some actual religious spreads this turn. Actually, no, this is the one that knocks the religion off. Oh, he doesn't have enough sailing speed. Oh, that's so annoying. Don't have enough movement. What I was going to do was, was just boost this just so that I got chemistry this turn. But it's fine. I can save my gold up. I can save the gold up. Oh, oh my capital can now build a neighbourhood. Oh, that's quite fun. Uh, I do want to build that. I want to build that here. Yes. Thank you. Need to start stealing these Caesarins back. And I need the extra science from this city-state here. So, good. That'll be tasty. Metal units for my conquistadors. And you know what? Ah, who keeps going to war with me? I mean, I, I kind of want France. I want them to generate a lot more grievances. Purely so that if they piss me off... I can attack them the golden age and uh yes we earn a lot of points so let's go for this one i like it i love it as you sort of push towards the later stages of the game all the interesting things kick in and we've got oxford university good right so what has this boosted us um there's the neighborhood district so that's conservation advanced chemistry i think i'd already been building rifling and electricity okay you know what Three techs in a turn is not bad. They weren't the best techs. I kind of would have liked something like rocketry, but but never mind. Um, my capital can just actually build the research center, as can you. But Real Madrid... Uh, let's have a look. 880? Yeah, I can buy two of these things in. So that's the nuclear program. And there was one over... Was it this city? Research lab on a uni library. 
Oh dear. Okay, well, you can see my science is now beginning to rocket up as I really start to kind of try and push past Korea. On 50 techs, I'm now on 49. We've caught right up. We do need to just double check and see if Korea have started putting anything into space. They have not. But they have researched a rocket tree. Haven't built a spaceport, but they have researched rocket trees. So we've got to keep an eye on them. Cheeky buggers. So here we go. Getting rid of it from Rome and boom! 320 science in one go. That's what I want to see. Especially because Bologna. Oh, the French are actually keeping this one safe. Oh dear, I need to bring my Inquisitor up to there, or my, my Apostle up in that direction. Never mind, we can do this still. Uh oh, that's a big old hurricane. Oh dear. Oh, it's right off Spain as well. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Uh, mass media. Okay, no, this is all good. Everything's good so far. Uh, let's just get in Space Initiative. Here we go. That'll help me to build some stuff up. Uh, because we need some spaceports now, don't we? Lovely. In fact, actually, this city, you can build me... Have you got the factory? Is that going to make a big difference to your... No, that was really silly to do. Coal power plant, and then let's build the spaceport. Uh, what about here? Let's build it on the, on the mounds. I can actually boost steel if I put this guy in and then upgrade him, but I need coal to do that. Oh, goodness me, I'm out of coal. There's no coal on this map. Well, there is lots of coal, but I'm just picking it away by burning it all. I'm saying that, actually. I don't even know if anyone else has got any coal. Even England? England normally have got... Okay, right, you'll still sell me... What would it take for... 12 gold for a coal? You know, that'll do. That'll do. Right, now can I upgrade this? Good. That's steel upgraded. Let's get steel in quickly. Just so I've got all the walls. And then finally, here we go. Here's the super apostle. He'll just drift in on his little laser boat, and then he'll go, ho bam And suddenly, all of that extra stuff. Delightful. Right, missionary, just burn your charge as well. Lovely. The religion spreads. The Inquisition. It teaches me. I absorb all knowledge. Steel. Yes. I mean, <laughs> oh, 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 hello. Okay, this, this hurricane is just ripping everything apart, but luckily it's going the right direction away from my actual good cities and more towards my, well, my less good cities, put it that way, but still, very scary. Uh, let's get this spaceport in. Yeah, it's lovely. Do it, 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 do it. You know what, actually, computers might be a really, really good idea, because i am got a feeling that the planet is beginning to warm up a little bit now, because... Well, for once, not not just me, but like Japan and Korea are definitely cooking it as well. So it's a team effort, a team effort. That's what I'm going to say. Let's settle right on top of this coal. Why not? And we've got New Zealand. Hey, what a lovely, lovely place to have a city this is. And another city in my thing. It's, it's about 60, 70 percent extra science per turn at the moment. Just the, the rate I can convert these cities. Delightful. And these research labs are popping up everywhere now. I almost need to be careful I'm not buying too many because I don't need all of these things. Now that I've got this advantage in, in tech, which, you know, I've just, just, just started to pull ahead. 51 techs versus 52. Okay, maybe not, but like, still. I, I don't need to go crazy. Come on, city state, sort yourself out. There we go. Fight. Definitely a good time to get those flood barrows up, I think. Oh, I always feel a much safer, like, in any stage of the game when those things start going up. I don't need a seaport, but I do need a spaceport. We need to make sure we've got enough of this. Ah, oh, yes. A spaceport on a little island. I like that. There's something quite satisfying about that one. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Delightful. Yeah. Um, flood barrows. Flood barrows everywhere. Let's try it with this city now. 18 pop. That, that's a lot. It's a lot of pop. But I've just cleared it out, and then... Oh, almost. Next turn, I'll be able to get an 18 pop city on side. That is delightful. Now, I think I want to get satellites going. To get satellites I need advanced ballistics, which I'm not going to get with oil power plants because I just haven't built any because I just keep forgetting to. Okay, we're just, we're just doing well now. Rocketry is beginning to become in sight and whenever that happens you know that you're doing fine, but it's just Korea are doing really well and I'm not entirely sure we're ahead as we need to be. Go on. 360 science. Yes. Advanced ballistics. That is such a powerful improvement. 
Oh, dear, oh dear. Right, advanced ballistics. That's good. Does that mean I've got, have I got to get advanced flight to get satellites? I do. Oh well, never mind. The turn one, two, two, three turns off a spaceport. 436, uh, 38 science. Now leading 53 techs versus 52 techs. It is close. It is very close. In fact, actually, look, Earth, sign, uh, Earth satellite is being researched by Korea at the moment. So I'm a little bit behind. We're going to keep an eye on things like our gold so that I can jump on people like Robert Goodard. If any of the uh, rocketeers do pop up, we can jump on those. I mean, this is the thing about having a little bit of a more open map. You see, like I've settled all on North Africa. I've got my South Africa colonies sort of popping up once I can deal with the barbarians, which are huge. South America actually has very little space once you take into account the city estates. Central America, North America, we've done well and actually I'm now over in New Zealand as well. I should probably uh, plop a couple of cities in Australia. So, so really I've, I've kind of expanded onto most of the map now and this is what I think about Civ 6. It, it can be a little bit rubbish in the sense that I plonk a new city down and I'm specifically in a golden age that gives me more population when I settle. Like, that's a specific thing, but the cities go down and they're just so rubbish. Like, this thing is still building a shipyard, like, 50 turns after it... I mean, ugh. It, it just means that your original cities are the only ones that ever do anything. I wish, and I know I've said this before, but I wish there was some mechanism where as you, like, teched up, so, like, as you were going through the techs, like, say, at lasers, or chemistry, or scientific theory, or whatever these, like, ones are, like, every now and then it's like a new city gives you another plus one pop, or even if not that, like a free builder or a three granary, or comes built with a monument, or, you know, like, the first district is half price. Do you know what I mean? Just something like that. Or maybe even, like, governors. Or maybe if there were, like, city civics that you could put in, like, into the government, where you could be like, ah, new cities start with one extra pop and one extra building. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wish there was something you could do, because towards the late stages of the game, there's just there's no point settling. Like, look at Hull. Hull should be an amazing city. That's like been put down with, with technology, but it's, it's sat there trying to make ancient walls when probably England, the rest of the civilization, is producing seaports. Do you know what I mean? Like it just seems really weird that you can't boost it, but yeah, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, it's just a little rant of mine.